Hey there, ever wondered what AI agents are and how they are revolutionizing industries? So whether you are a marketing student interested in the future of automation or a tech enthusiast ready to dive deeper into AI, understanding AI agents is essential. So we hear about artificial intelligence everywhere, chatbots, virtual assistants, self-driving cars. But what ties all of these innovations together? The answer is simple. AI agents. So by the end of this video, you will not only know what AI agents are, but also understand how they work and how they are transforming fields like marketing and technology. So stick with me and let us explore everything you need to know about AI agents in a way that is fun and easy to digest. So let's start with the basic question. The first question that comes to our mind. What exactly are AI agents, right? See, an AI agent is essentially a software program that uses artificial intelligence to perform tasks autonomously. In simple terms, it's like having a super smart assistant who can make decisions, learn from data and carry out tasks without constant human supervision. Imagine an AI agent as a virtual employee who can perform specific duties based on goals it has been given. It gathers information, makes sense of that information and acts accordingly. Think of it this way. So when you ask Siri or Alexa to play a song, they are functioning as AI agents. They understand your request through voice recognition, retrieve the song from the internet, and then play it for you. They don't need you to tell them how to find the song step by step. They just know because they've been trained to learn and respond. Right? So now let's look at the core components of AI agents. So for AI agents to work, they need to have several essential components. First component is perception. So basically, AI agents need to sense their environment. In the case of virtual agents, this might be listening for a voice command or processing written text. For physical agents like robots, this might mean using cameras or sensors to detect objects around them. Right? Then the second one is decision making. <coughs> Once the agent has gathered information, it needs to make decisions. And this is where the intelligence kicks in. Using algorithms, the AI agent processes the data it has received and decides on the best course of action. Then the next uh, step is learning. So AI agents can learn from the data they process. Over time, they get better at making decisions. For example, if an AI agent is an online store, in an online store notices that customers who browse specific items tend to buy complementary products, it can suggest those products in the future. And then you have the last step, which is action. So finally, an AI agents act on their decision. Now this could be responding to a voice command, sending an email, or making a financial trade. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's say you are running an e-commerce store. An AI agent can analyze customer behavior and suggest products that a visitor is more likely to purchase based on their previous searches. It would track user preferences, which is perception, analyze what product recommendations work best, which is decision making, learn over time to refine suggestions, which is learning, and finally recommend specific products, which is action. <coughs> now let's look at the type of AI agents. See, AI agents are not all created equal. They come in different types, depending on their complexity and how they interact with their environment. So first type of agent is simple reflex agents. Now these are the most basic AI agents. They act based on the current situation or environment and don't have memory. So in other words, 
they react to a specific input without considering past experiences or learning from pre previous actions. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So think of a thermostat. So when it senses that the room is too hot, it turns on the air conditioning. It does not remember how long the AC has been on or learned from previous temperature fluctuations. It just responds to the current situation. So that was the first type of agent. Now we have second type of agent which is model based agents. Now these agents are a bit more advanced. They not only perceive the current environment, <clears throat> but also remember past actions. They build an internal model of the world, allowing them to make <clears throat> better decisions by predicting future outcomes based on past experiences. Again, let's try to understand this with the help of an example. A self-driving car is a model based agent. It uses past driving experiences and real time data from sensors to make decisions like when to stop at a traffic light or avoid obstacles. So that was the second type of agent. Now we have third agent, type of agent, which is goal based agents. Now goal based agents take things further. Instead of just reacting to the environment, these agents work towards achieving specific goals. They can evaluate different actions and choose the one that will help them accomplish a particular objective. Uh, let's look at an example. Say um, in digital marketing, a goal based AI agent might be used to maximize ad clicks. Now it will test different versions of ads and adjust strategies to reach its goal of getting more people to click on ads. So that was third type of agent, which was goal based agents. Now we have fourth kind of agent, which is utility based agents. Now these agents don't just work towards goals. They aim to maximize their overall success. They use utility functions to evaluate the happiness or effectiveness of their actions and choose the best one that provides the highest reward. For example, an AI powered investment bot might use a utility based approach to maximize returns while minimizing risk. It evaluates the best trading strategies to achieve the highest utility, or in this case, the greatest financial gain. So those were the types of agents. Now let's look at how can AI agents be used in marketing. See in marketing, AI agents are rapidly transforming the way businesses interact with customers and make decisions. Here are some ways AI agents are making an impact. Number one is chatbots and virtual assistants. Now this is one of the most common AI agents in marketing, uh, which is called chatbot. Now these virtual assistants can communicate with customers, answer questions, recommend products, and even process transactions. They use natural language processing to understand customer queries and respond appropriately. Let's look at an example. So imagine you're shopping online and a chat box pops up asking if you need help. Now the AI agent can help you find a product or answer questions about shipping without the need for human intervention. Second is personalized advertising. Now AI agents are helping marketers personalize their ads by analyzing user behavior preferences and demographics. By processing vast amount of data, these agents can deliver ads tailored to individual users, increasing engagement and even conversion rates. Now, again, let's try to um, understand this with the help of an example. So say uh, all of you use Netflix. Now Netflix uses AI agents to recommend shows and movies based on your viewing history. Similarly, marketers use AI to target potential customers with ads, which are more relevant to their interest. Now, third is predictive analytics. Now AI agents can predict future trends by analyzing historical data. Now, this is especially useful in marketing for forecasting demand 
identifying customer segments and optimizing pricing strategy. Let's understand this with the help of an example. An AI agent might analyze past sales data to predict which products will be popular during the next holiday season. Now this allows businesses to stock upon inventory and create targeted marketing campaigns. Now let's try to understand a basic concept. So basically how do AI agents learn? Now this is very fascinating. It's actually one of the most uh, fascinating aspects of AI agents, which is their ability to learn and improve over time. Now this happens through a process known as machine learning. AI agents use different machine learning techniques such as, so there are various machine learning techniques. Let's look at them one by one. First is supervised learning. Now the AI agent is trained on a set of labeled data in supervised learning. It learns to make decisions based on the examples it has been shown. Next is unsupervised learning. In this case, the agent is given data without labels and must find patterns on its own. Then there is reinforcement learning. In this case, the AI agents learns through trial and error, receiving rewards or penalties for its action. Now let's look at the challenges and ethical considerations while using AI. See, while AI agents offer incredible benefits, they also come with challenges. One concern is the ethical use of AI, especially when it comes to privacy. AI agents process large amounts of data and marketers need to ensure they are handling personal information responsibly. Another challenge is the bias in AI algorithms. So if an AI agent is trained on biased data, it may make biased decisions. And this is something that developers must constantly monitor and improve. So finally, we can say that AI agents are here to stay. They are changing the game in marketing, technology, and so many other industries. They have the ability to learn, make decisions, and act autonomously, thereby saving time, improving accuracy, and enhancing customer experiences. From chatbots and virtual assistants to predictive analytics, AI agents are becoming indispensable tools for modern businesses. But always remember, as powerful as they are, AI agents still need human oversight. Combining the strengths of AI with human intuition and creativity is the key to truly unlocking their potential. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech and marketing insights. Thanks for reading and we will see you in the next video.